My name is Kristen Herring and this is the initial response to discussion board number four. And we were asked to give an overview of the elements of effective leadership structures. So creating a leadership structure that the principal has in place where there's a team that helps to implement a shared vision is needed. There are three components that I found in successful leadership structures. So first, the staff should all be placed on teams that correlate to the intent of the school vision. For example, in our schools as we move to career academies, every teacher will be assigned to two different groups. One will be based on subject area and to analyze data together and move students to achievement. And one will be a mix of the uh, four core teachers and uh, pathway teachers and a mix of elective teachers so that they can discuss how they can reach the school vision as well. The second component is identifying the purpose of the team and agreeing on roles and responsibilities of each team member. This is important for two reasons. One, it lets everyone know that there's a time or that their time is valuable and it's so that every member is important to the team and it shows them that they are valuable. When members can't relate to a purpose, they tend to quit participating, and one person ends up doing most of the work, which probably everyone has seen. So you wanna make sure that the purpose of the group is established, everyone has a role in the group, and it's good to even shift those roles throughout the year so that everyone um, feels like they are very important. Time agendas are important with established norms in place, um, just keeping everyone on task so the time's not wasted. And that is the last factor, setting the time that everyone will meet. Ensuring that that, time, that that team always meets, whether or not one person is absent or the principal can't come, the meeting's still important and it always happens. The administrator should not take the lead in the meeting because it should occur with or without the administrator present. However, the administrator should do whatever is possible to get there um, on, on times that or in times where they can. Um, I've seen this time protected and I've been a part of schools where it was not protected. I've been a part of a team where I felt like we never accomplished anything because the teachers were taking too much time catching up personally and everyone's time was not valued. I've also been a part of groups where there was an established 15 minutes at the beginning that was for snacking and personal chats so that everyone had a chance to build relationships with each other or keep the relationship strong. And then once the actual meeting began, the time was protected and we focused on what we were there for. Typically in buildings that I've worked, a few teachers did all of the work. I've dreamed of a time where everyone was a part of a team and there were some expectations and accountability in place and I can see a huge positive impact that that would have on student achievement. During the 21-22 school year, uh, because of COVID and having to teach virtually and in person, we had the opportunity to dismiss students at one o'clock and we were all able to meet and discuss data and create our 30-day plans and and talk about how we were going to move students. Well that was during the school day and it was just um, a part of what was required and, and there was accountability things in place. Well since then now, um, you know we meet either before school during our prep or after school. And those are times that teachers want to use for, you know, getting ready for school and getting ready for class. And so sometimes they don't have a great attitude about having to meet during that time. It's definitely not as well as they did when we were out on Wednesdays. So it would be nice if there was some built-in place like that although you know our district asked for that to continue and it was not approved. <clears throat> I like the idea of having a leadership team that the principal is involved in and the leaders meet with the other teams to work together to analyze data and collect input on the school vision. Then that leadership team returns to uh, the group with the principal to discuss and see what correlates to the principal's vision 
and what is heard continually throughout all of the different groups. This, this asks the whole staff to be a part of creating the vision and taking ownership of it. Then we, the staff or the students, have requests. Uh, the principal can always point to the vision and ask, well, how will this help us reach our vision? So it's just real important that, you know, each step that is asked, you know, each dollar that is spent, each technique that is used, each strategy that's um, considered, that, you know, teachers and administrators look at the vision and they ask that question, how will this help us reach our vision and increase student achievement? Thank you.